hello and welcome um, back to my channel today I will be making my version so forgive me if it's not your version but I'm gonna be making my version of mashed potato and I want to get this in on time for the Thanksgiving I see a lot of mashed potato recipes that they use the cauliflower it's okay I'm not really a mashed potato person so I wanted to make it in such a way that I will enjoy it so I will be using a small head of uh, cauliflower this is um, acorn squash this acorn squash I will be using one third of it one third of the acorn squash and um, a small head of cauliflower. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So this is what I need. This is just what I need. So I'm just going to peel this I don't want to sleep in here so So I'm going to steam it over a pot of water, not boil. I am going to steam it. The cauliflower is ready. So while this is still, I'm just going to list out the other ingredients that I'll use. So our cauli and acorn is ready. I'm using half of this butter, which is say two ounces half a cup of um, mozzarella cheese, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, the same for garlic, some salt, and um, a little parsley for garnishing, just, just for fancy. So what I'm gonna do is put my cauliflower in here. You wanna add every, basically every other thing while it's still hot, especially the the egg because you need it to cook it so let me just add my um, garlic here get my butter out I should do it half okay Okay, ooh, that is so so creamy. That is so 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 creamy. I'm gonna taste for salt. Mm. It's a little salt. So my collie mash is ready 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 so 
so I'm just gonna put a little of that fancy fancy that's just what it is unnecessary man it's not because it's just me but this is good like literally it's good and then if you make your cauliflower and you feel it's too watery the first thing you should avoid is boiling it in water it's going to soak up too much water you have to steam it and then when you steam it it's going to retain more of the nutrients and if uh, you blend it and you feel it's too um it has too much or it's too light you can add maybe a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of psyllium husk in it it's going to help you hold it um better thank you for watching hmm. and i will see you in my next video bye